What's going on guys? Today we've got a, uh, another video playing with toy cars in the basement. Uh, we have the SCX24 Gladiator today since I went to pick this up and the first thing that hit me immediately is um, I thought it was just going to be a longer wheelbase with a different body but it, they have completely redone the electronics on it. There's a completely new transmitter and you can switch the lights between on, off, and party mode I guess. And the, the, whatever they did with the speed control on this is much, much smoother now. It's, um, there's a lot more low-end control over it. You lose the low, medium, high range before, but there's a lot more control. And the other thing I have noticed with it is, um, the tires do seem to be a new size tire for this. But, uh, what you're seeing right now, I immediately throw the stock tires out. Uh, there may or may not be a clip overlaid on this. I'm trying to get through my V-ditch here. There may or may not be a clip overlaid over this where, um, wow, it turtled it. That's impressive. The longer wheelbase isn't supposed to do that. But, um, I switched the stock tires out for a set of Proline Hyraxes, which surprisingly enough, I'll be quiet so you can listen. The, the Hyraxes don't actually seem to rub on this, and they definitely grip quite a bit better since, much like all the other forms of the SCX24, the stock tires are pretty god-awful terrible on it. So we swapped out for the Hyrax, where we get a lot more grip, and especially with the new speed control, there's a lot of, a lot more low-end control over the car to do what you want with it. And we are going to uh, mulligan ourselves again here. We'll go under our tunnel, and we've done some updates to our little crawler course here. We've got these new things that um, make me look like I am not smarter than a fifth grader struggling to do popsicle stick bridges. But we'll um, move on to the more cooler bridge over here that's floating off in space. We can crawl through a rock section. If you watched the last video I had trying a couple other cars, we've updated the rock section a little bit since then. And especially with the, the Gladiator's new electronics, it's much, much better at, um, I guess low, there's much more low speed control over it. This is a scary bit where you gotta like, line the tires up just right. Drop that into the, got the bridge built just enough so we can hang one under the front axle off and scoot on it if we need to. And keep going, pull the front axle back on, do my best to come down, try not to roll off the table with the new car. There we go, and we'll come up to this, we'll make one more last climb over some a couple of planks of wood in the rock, because this is what I could find laying around. And we have high sun in it, which is... A small problem with the gladiators on this now because the, the wheelbase is so long it does go to high center a bit. And we're stuck. We're going to have to mulligan that. Okay, we've taken a mulligan on this section. We're going to try this again. Got the low speed control, but we're going to need to bump it over. There we go. The one thing I have noticed with this is despite the, um, the longer wheelbase being a lot easier to high center, the new speed control has much more low end torque as you've maybe just, and down goes the spray paint can. But um, the new speed control has a lot more low end torque compared to the old ones and it seems to deliver the torque a lot faster so if you need to hop over something we can. Oh, we're gonna make that. Thank you Hyrax. But now we'll come back down. There's a log section on the other side of this we'll try and hit because that's a good way I can think of showing the instant torque that the, or the, the better torque delivery and the speed control seems to have. Come over this. And since we have a long wheelbase, we're gonna come over this and we're probably gonna high center on the logs like I've done before. But I'm gonna bet you have them. Um, save this. Ah, we're done. But what happens on the logs here is it'll, um, it'll high center itself. We'll just cheat your way over there. Um, it'll high center itself on there if I try and crawl it slowly. And we're just kind of stuck here. However, since it's got the instant torque delivery, or better torque delivery, I guess I would say, it can kind of just wheelie its way over. Of course, I flipped that time. 
try again. Now, once we get the tires lined up, we can kind of hammer on it and just wheelie right over it like nothing happened. And that will come up our little uh, two beam to post thing. I don't know what to call it. There's two, two cardboard cylinders to drive over. Got to wait for the front end to drop back down. Doing okay. Try taking a different line through here this time. We'll go for the X Max tires. The, it, it does seem the long wheelbase is a little, um, I was honestly thinking it was going to be a lot worse than it is. Like, as I'm sure you're seeing, it's, I thought I was going to be getting hung up on literally everything with a longer wheelbase, but it seems to actually be handling everything pretty well, all things considered, and it definitely does seem to, compared to the stock Deadbolt, a stock Jeep, and a stock C10, this does seem to perform a little, well, especially with the new Electronics, it performs quite a bit better. Here, we really saved it. But, it, um, it seems to handle pretty well on everything, other than once we get to the hill here, I think we're going to turtle it, because it's still right at the limit of what this thing can do. And we're in the mode again. We will reset at the back and attack the rock section and try and make the hill climb at the end of the rocks here this time. We'll take another mulligan on that. Try the rocks again. Dragon bumper pretty hard. And we're gonna have to wheel our way over the top carefully. crooked so we don't um so the big downside of this is so long you gotta hit stuff kind of crooked like this so you don't high center on it and uh, we can cut we'll try and take a slightly different approach this way now we'll go through a rock section i go through a rock section i press my foot thing over and Okay, we say that there's, there's, there's only, we're only told the car like two or three times in this video so far. We're fine. It's, it's still under the factory warranty. We're, we're good. Let's, uh, try and attack the staircase we have over there now. And get yourselves pointed straight. We'll try and crawl it before we use the bottom off of it. Doing our best impression of a rock humper. Speed. Once we have a speed, we can make it up. There we go. Oh, that was a scary angle. Alright, coming around. We will climb this if we can. Another case of needing to use the um, better ESC to deliver enough torque to just kind of wheelie our way over the stuff where we scrape. Scraping pretty hard here because the wheelbase is so long. There we go. And we'll come down. Ooh, scary angles. Point turn in our long wheelbase, and we made it. We'll try and take a, um, a lap of the course going a new way now so we can re angle ourselves. And we'll shut up and focus to try and not flip doing this. Okay, we'll just cut back, and this is going to be a 30 point turn to get it going. 
Okay, so we made a slight modification to the car now. Um, you might be able to see we took the giant black thing off the back because that was um, definitely not helping performance. Now you can see inside there, there's like shovels and stuff in there. Um, much, much, much better at climbing and driving now. So we'll take one final lap around the outside of the track. And again, the new electronics in this are much, much better. There's way more low end control over the vehicle. Try and be careful so we don't high center it there. A lot easier to control and make exactly what you want happen happen now. Take one more pass through the V ditch. Since the bumper's kind of low, we gotta angle the wheels and work our angles to get through. Okay, there we go. That's a lot. Sorry for the silence. That was um, laser focused, especially on the on that bridge and on the last descent. There, laser focused to not flip anything. Um, but yeah, that's where we're at with the new Gladiator. I, I'm really glad I picked one up. I think for for the money, they're definitely the electronics alone. I think is worth the price premium over the other ones. As you've hopefully been able to see, they it's got way more low end control. And yeah, that's where we're at for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you have any suggestions or things you want to see in the future as we try and make this lap climb that I literally could not make. Before I took that black piece off the back, this, that little climb there was not doable. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Let me know what you want to see in the future. I'll see you guys in another one.